attempt to show up. It's Captain Binghamton! Oh, Binghamton. Condition red! Condition red! <laughs> Mr. Parker. Uh, ten, 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 ten. Shun! You girls, take your hands off me. What's the matter? You're bending my shoulder board. Stop that. Get, shoot, go. Gas cap. Gas. Safe around here. <laughs> Where is that, McHale? Where, where, where? Uh, hello, Captain. Uh, welcome aboard. Oh, welcome aboard, he says. <laughs> now, don't tell me what this is, McHale. Let me guess. <laughs> I'll bet this is the Polynesian Road Company of Tobacco Road. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the boys are a little bit sloppy, yes, sir. Come on, straighten up there, fellas. Come on, straighten up. I'll lay that, Mikhail. Oh? Oh, I certainly hope that you've had a 21-gun fling here today. Yes, sir. Because you've seen the last grass skirt that you're going to see. Oh? As of 1430 hours, the former activities here on Orgy Island will be no more. <laughs> I'm placing the native village off limits out of bounds, Verboten. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. You can't do that. Why, why, these natives depend on the base for their income. And you put their village off limits and, well, well it'll just ruin their economy, sir. Then we'll be even. I've made a shambles of my discipline. Now, you tell Chief What's-His-Name here. Watara. Yes, tell Chief What's-His-Name what my orders are. And you tell him they stand until he learns to run a tot village. You want to tell him. Uh, mati uh, inguna ubai, in kuna iwasai e kunsan. Mimu kuna ima no puni. Takemo dai bai. and putting the village off limits will bankrupt those poor natives. What will they need when we pay them for, for raising our vegetables and, and doing our laundry and, and, and catching fish? Show it, Mikhail. Well, you saw how mad the chief got at you. Huh. There's no telling what he might do. Uh, next. Mikhail, the only chief that I'm worried about is the one from Washington who's going to pay us a visit next Saturday. Oh? Who's that? Thomas J. Pettibone. The Undersecretary of the Navy? Exactly. He's flying in here from Simbu Island to inspect this base, including... May John Paul Jones preserve me, the 73 and its crew. <laughs> Mikhail, you foul me up with the secretary and so help me, I will recommend to him personally that he split this crew. Now he's in a position to grant such a request, wouldn't you say? Uh, well, uh... Well, I beg your pardon, sir, but according to naval regulations, uh, any request for a transfer would have to go through proper channels. Now, let's see, that would probably have... Anson, why don't you light a match and go and check the gas pumps? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Skip, do you have any matches? He wants me to go check the gas pump. Now, I'll hear this, Mikhail. If you and this bunch of aborigines here don't measure up, not only will I recommend that you be split, but I will recommend that you be sent so far north that the next time you pull a snow job, you can use real snow. Do you read me? Like a weather bulletin, sir. Cut that out. Now, the next time I see this bunch of so-called sailors, the uniform of the day will be dress whites. And cover that up. That's disgusting. Bye-bye, oh. <laughs> uh, Captain. Bye. Oh. Well, you heard him, boys. We got no choice. We got to stand inspection on Saturday. Oh, Boy, that's great. We might as well be stationed over there with Binghamton on Devil's Island. Yeah. Look, there's got to be a way out Something of this. Something we yes. got to do. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop dreaming, you eight balls. We got work to do. What are your orders, Skip? Well, the first thing is we got to see that every man here has got a clean white uniform. Verge? Tinker, gather up all the dirty laundry on the island, take it over to the village. Okay, you got right. it. Chuck, you're in charge of the laundry detail. Get moving. Right, Skip. 
Oh, Skip, aren't you forgetting the village is off limits? Boy, they're gonna find out we're in trouble. Yeah? And we'll be in bigger trouble if we show up at the inspection for the Undersecretary of Navy like this. Huh? <laughs> get moving. And the rest of you coconut pickers, grab swabs and buckets. We're joining the Navy. Let's go. Tell them it's a rush job. <laughs> hey, Tink. What a shame the skip's in such a hurry. What these poor gals are missing, huh? Yeah, it's downright cruel to deprive them. Hi, baby. Woo! Woo! Hey, Bert. I just figured out how we can keep Mr. Parker occupied so as we can get occupied. <laughs> Why don't we fix him up with little flour? They never met. Can you imagine? <laughs> you like him, Big Chief, Mr. Parker? Hot dog. <laughs> Mr. Parker, he like you very much. He very shy. Calarone shy. Shy? <laughs> oh, Calarone. Calarone shy. Uh, Mr. Parker, him not married. He say, you kind of woman he like to marry and raise little warrior. Big warrior? Mary, hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. Hey, haven't you guys got this laundry done yet? Now, let's move it. Oh, yes, sir, right away. Yes, now, what about this laundry, girls? We got uh, an inspection tomorrow. Quickly, people, oh, quickly. Yeah. This way. Hey, baby, you stick to me. I'm going to get you your own hut. People realize there's a war on? <laughs> oh. Native. Hi, baby. Oh, well, uh, you, um, go, um, with others, um. Yes. <laughs> what them you em want them? <laughs> well, uh, go away. So long. Bye. Uh, here, uh, you wash them up. Em. Yeah, well, uh, belly high. Sweet little honey. Uh, well, uh, hey, Virgil, Tinker, uh, I need an interpreter. Hey. Kuna, Kuna, Ari Mata Hula Parker. Parker, Simpata Winso. Mani Lua Parker? Oh, yeah. Him, Parker. Ah. What's up, Skip? Hey, your future father in law just dropped by to say hello. Oh, hi, Pop. <laughs> huh? Father in law? Hey, he says the little flower accepts your proposal. Proposal? I thought I was first. <laughs> now, look, Skip, I didn't go near her, but I didn't touch her. You ought to tell this guy that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I can say more than two words to his daughter. Yeah, well, they must have been the wrong two words, buddy. Uh, relax, Chuck. Uh, Chiefy, uh, um, Ulu, uh, Alo, eh, Mali, eh, Parker, Sulu. Ingo, Ulu, Parker, Kuwai. Ah, oh, Ulu, Ulu, Malo. Ingo, Ulu, Kuwai. What's he saying, Skip? What's he saying? I insist that you're engaged. Look, Skip, I... No, 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 no. I just have to ask you to go along with this, Chuck. Skip, I'm too young to get married. And Chuck, <laughs> easy does it, will you, boy? Now, look. If the chief is mad enough at the Navy as it is, and with the Undersecretary of the Navy coming, we can't afford to make waves. So if you'll just relax, uh, I promise you, I, uh, after inspection, I'll get you out of this, okay? Well, I... Okay. <laughs> now, chief, uh, Parker, it's Alo Miki Fow! <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that we were all squared away for the secretary's visit, wouldn't you, Carpenter? Oh, I'm sure he'll be very much impressed by what he sees, sir. A tribute to your exemplary qualities as one of the finest leaders in this... Ah. Oh. Bad news, sir? This is an alert from the commanding officer on Simbu. The secretary is not conducting an ordinary inspection. He is conducting a survey on how to improve native Navy relations. And guess what? Gonna visit the villages. Why should that worry you, sir? Because he can't do that. You just placed the village off limits to the... <laughs> I see what you mean, sir. 
Not Chief. What, 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 what's his name? He hates me. He'll have my scalp. Well, what are you going to do about this, sir? Oh, what can you do? Well, questions, questions, questions. That's all I ever get from you. A lot of questions. Couldn't I once get some answers from you? Well, sir, maybe you could speak to the Chief. Speak to the Chief? Yes. <laughs> well, I'd have to have leaky bulkheads to speak to the Chief. So you would get within spear-throwing distance of that man every time I think of him. I oh, I got it, sir. <laughs> sir, I've got it. Watara and Commander McHale are very buddy buddy. Now, if you just call McHale. Send an could... SOS to McHale. I'd rather be strapped to a torpedo and fired away. <laughs> Sir, I know how you feel about the commander, but in a time of an emergency, Absolutely don't you think that you should. It's positively no. unthinkable asking McHale to bail me out. Why, that would be as distasteful to me as turning this base over to the Japanese. Well, where are you going, sis? See, McHale. <laughs> Do a good job on those uniforms. Yeah, the whiter and white, Skip. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Parker, guess who was waiting for us when we pulled up at the village? I don't care to know. Your fiance, Little Flower. Yeah, she wanted to see you. She's real disappointed you didn't show up. Yeah, she even asked if we take her with us. Ooh, she's really gone on you, Mr. Parker. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, cut it out, you miserable Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Hi, baby! <laughs> True love knows no bounds. What do you got, Mr. Parker? And can you spare some? Oh. Oh. Don't let her get me, Skipper. <laughs> easy, little flower, easy. <laughs> Boy, we gotta get her home. That's all we need is for Bloodhound Binghamton to find her around here. I'm sorry, little flower, but uh, um, uh, Una, Kuna, uh, Murai, uh, Juava, uh, Rumbi. Mali Nui, Mali Nui. Yeah, Mali Nui, Mali Nui, yeah. <laughs> Christy, Gruber, get aboard. You want to take her back to the village? Yeah, right away, man. Let's move it. <laughs> oh, if you insist, sir, but you're only asking for more trouble by sending me. I'm almost as irresistible as Mr. Parker. Come on, will you? Skip, look, it's the captain's gig. <laughs> Come on, get lost. Come on, you guys, come on, come on. Come on. Attention! <laughs> As you are, man. Commander McHale aboard? Uh, yes, sir. He'll be right with you, sir. He's down below checking. One of our port board engines have been stalling. And one of our starboard engines been porting. <laughs> one of our star engines has got to... Uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, could I try again, sir? I... No. Been enough already. There's something in the air. There is? Oh, I didn't notice anything, sir. Christy, bring me the glasses. There's something in the air. Glasses. Ah, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> something I can do for you? Matter of fact, uh, there is. Uh, Mc... She must have backed up to the starter. <laughs> Stalled engine seems to be working all right now, Miguel. Stalled engine? <laughs> what did you say, sir? Yeah, well, I would like to know who that wild man in your engine room is. Uh, wild man? Or whatever do you mean, sir? <laughs> Hi, baby. Not in the blue Pacific. Who is this? Who is she? What's she doing here? What? 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 Uh, well, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, you stop walla walla wallowing and start explaining. What are you doing? Running a floating harem? Half floating harem. <laughs> Cut that out. Sir, I'd like you to meet uh, a little flower. Little flower. <laughs> the daughter of Chief Watara, sir. Hi, baby. We marry, huh? Don't tell us about Mary. Who's going to marry who? Anson, speak up. Oh, well, sir, the little lady here has the idea we're engaged. <laughs> engaged. <laughs> you mean to tell me that Parker is engaged to the chief's daughter? Uh, well, uh, uh, the, the, the chief and, and, and little flower think so, but it's just a small case of misunderstanding. <laughs> Better not be a misunderstanding. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I don't care to hear all the lurid details, but this is beautiful. The chief has got to be good to me now. After all, I'm a very good friend of his prospective son-in-law. Huh, Jack? Why should we me? <laughs> Something I better explain. Yeah, not now, Mikhail. Not now. Prepare to get underway. We're going to visit the village <laughs> to see Dad. <laughs> oh, this is the most ridiculous thing, Mikhail. 
Are you sure that this pompous old faker here... How are you? <laughs> are you sure that he understands that in return for my lifting the off-limits ban from the village, he's to welcome the secretary with open arms? Yeah, he understands, sir. Yeah, he understands. He does? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, then, uh, thank him for his cooperation. Hello there. <laughs> Let's get out of this gas. Yeah. Uh, Eni, uh, in so lower. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, 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 Skipper, I don't think I'm coming with you. Yaki huni aruma kumba. Oh, come here. You've been invited to spend the night, Chuck. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Look, lady. Uh, Skipper, I'm a United States Naval officer. There must be some regulation. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I guess they got their own kind of regulations, Chuck. Well, tell the chief there's no need for violence, that Parker will stay, at least until the secretary leaves tomorrow. Tomorrow? By tomorrow, I'm liable to be married. <laughs> yes, marry, hot dog. Oh, well, there's no worry there, Chuck. Why, the marriage ceremony is just, uh, well, the girl brings over her belongings into the man's hut, and, uh, well, the marriage can't take place for a week after the pledge. <laughs> or is that the custom in Tulagi? <laughs> The suit. Uh, uh, pineapple. Uh, 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 hold it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Oh, uh, uh, okay with the feet. The feet's good. Sayonara. Oh, look. Hey, Skip, ain't you gonna tell us how sharp we look? Well, maybe he don't think so. Skip. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 you all look fine, yeah. Now, just listening and uh, wondering who the chief declared war on. Are you sure they're not happy drums? Like for the forthcoming nuptials? No, 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 these are war drums. I hope Chuck's okay. Well, I can't wait any longer. Come on, boys, let's go to inspection. Hey! Hey, Chuck! Chuck! You almost shut up! Chuck, you okay? Yeah, don't worry, Skip. I'll be all right. Uh -huh. Now I know why those war drums are beaten. Chuck, what made you leave that village, boy? Well, I'll tell you, Skip. I'm a man who can do his duty, right? Right. Well, I could even go above and beyond the call of duty. Yeah? But last night, I faced a fate that was even above, above and beyond. Well, yes, sir. Uh, you know what those girls did? Girls! They took my clothes. Your clothes? <laughs> I've always maintained that to understand the people of a given culture, you must study the customs. Oh, that's exactly what I've always said, Mr. Secretary. And I pride myself on having done just that, sir. And as a result, our relationships with the natives, they couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. So here I am telling you about it. No doubt you'd rather be out in the village seeing for yourself. Yes, Captain. I look for... Oh, excuse me a minute, sir. Enter. Sir, Commander McHale is here and wishes to see you on what he says is a very important well, matter. Tell him to stand by. We'll be going out on the 73 shortly, and... Uh... <laughs> but, uh, would you excuse me for just a minute, sir? I, uh... Perhaps while I'm gone, you'd like to look over an example of native handicraft? <laughs> I encourage that sort of thing. What's <laughs> with you, McHale? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, I know that, sir, but... Uh... I think you ought to know that Parker left the village last night. He left the village? I'll have him boiled in oil. Well, the natives might beat you to it, sir. Those drums you hear out there are war drums. War drums? Mm -hmm. Mikhail, you turn them into happy drums, because if you don't... <laughs> well, Skip, was the captain very angry? Well, now, I don't know. But he said if anything went wrong while the secretary was here, he was going to order the 73 on a one-boat invasion of Tokyo Bay. <laughs> hey, group, hand me my glasses, will you? Oh, that's just dandy. Watara and his men. And they're all dressed up in war paint. Hey, war paint? Holy cow! Battle paint! Did you die? 
seem at all friendly. In fact, they're the unfriendliest looking friendly natives I've ever seen. Uh, you know how it is with savages, sir. They look so, uh, savage. Hakama, Mama Tei, and in bueno, inside. Huh? Inside, inside. Inside. Attention! Mr. Secretary, may I present Commander McHale? Uh, how do you do, sir? Welcome aboard. Thank you, Commander. Oh, the, uh, the Secretary was expressing some concern that the natives don't look very friendly. We, uh, we can dispel that uh, concern, can't we, Commander? Uh, well, 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 yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Guna in San, in Bula, in Kane. No, 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 no! Ingun inside Parker? No, come on, Parker. No, Ingun inside Parker. No, goody Mallow Parker. Mikhail, Mikhail, hurry it up. Give her anything she wants. Ingun, anyone, anybody. Inside, inside, inside. You can't ask for friendlier natives than that. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, what is this all about? What, what, what? Uh, well, sir, uh, congratulations, sir. Uh, <laughs> you just got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you always manage to come up smelling like a rose. Oh? <laughs> but until then, a man could lose his propellers. <laughs> well, let's have it. I'll just squirm out of this one. Ah, uh, well, uh, well, sir, I, I told Watara and the girl that uh, the reason that Parker chickened out of his wedding was because, uh, well, he realized he wasn't good enough for the royal family, sir. That's not bad. How did you get me off the wedding hook? Ah, uh, well, I, I told him and I, I discovered a deep, dark secret, sir, uh, that you were, um, uh, really much older than you looked, and uh, I'm sure the fires had gone out a long time ago, and that uh, a pretty little girl like uh, a little flower uh, didn't have to be so desperate, uh, and that that'll be all, sir. Bye-bye, Captain. Desperate. What does he mean, desperate? 